Hi everybody, Jig and Jerry here, and welcome to Fishing with Jig and Jerry. In this episode, I am going to talk about fishing for spotted sea trout, right here in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina, off of the Mount Pleasant Pier. Now, I'm going to show you some of the lures I've been using, and if you watch closely, you'll probably see some of the techniques and locations I've been targeting and catching spotted sea trout. <laughs> flukes now especially this time of year now you saw me put my ear to the trout and said male that's because only the male trout drum and make drum sounds you know I'm uh, I'm using a fluke by zoom and in this nice nippy weather I love using flukes and artificial shrimp, of course. And Z-Man Slim Swims, another one of my favorites. Sitting here fishing over some debris off the Mount Pleasant Pier. Now, this fluke, for instance, you see how I have it set up? Now, with this weedless hook, okay, set up like that, see it bend down. The weight at the belly allows this fluke to suspend and sink almost flat coming down. And then when I kick it and twitch it, it does a kick motion, okay? Where instead of nose diving and then you twitch and pick up like that, it, it sits more flat. So. It has a real nice action. It, it sinks a lot slower so I can control it, especially over structure. The weedless allows me, even if I bump into some oysters or around debris, I can usually flip it out of there unless I accidentally jerk it too hard, then I'll, I'll set the hook. But it uh, works really great for trout, red drum. And in the, uh, in the spring through the summer, these are great for flounder too on the flat. that fluke pretty good set right there just nab them perfectly right in that spot that's great nice little male grunting later buddy so here's my little pearl slim swims I always have it set up on my ultralight little six pound test Let's see what happens <laughs> I gotta get him up on six pound test. I should get my net, but I'm gonna try to reel him up. There he is. Little pearl. Yeah. 
Okay, there are a number of artificials that I use, okay? Slim Swims by Z-Man is one of them. One of my favorites, okay? This is a pearl on a little 1 8 jig head, okay? I also love the Gold Flake, okay, Slim Swims. As you can tell, this one's been battered pretty good. She's caught a lot of trout. And then I have my other favorite here, which is the Opening Night. That is probably my most used artificial for spotted sea trout in the low country that I use. Okay, then you can go up in size. These are 2.5 inch Slim Swims. This here is a three inch Golden Boy Paddle Tail Grub. Now those work fantastic. Redfish love all these as well. Uh, the Red Drum just really go after them pretty hard. The gold is just a perfect color, especially in our tea colored waters that we have here in the low country. And then, um, you know, I love to use flukes. Now this is by Zoom, okay? This is a fluke, and you'll see this in the video that, uh, no, you have seen it anyway in the show that I'm doing now. And um, the way it's rigged is a weedless rig. It's weighted at the bottom of the hook, which creates a belly sink. It sinks flat like this. And flukes, you can really add a lot of action to them and make them look like stranded or wounded fish or, or normal fish just fishing, uh, swimming in the current. Works fantastic. All right. Now wait a minute, that's not a trout, that's a red drum! <laughs>
Now, I love fishing till dusk off of the Mount Pleasant Pier. And I will show you why I love fishing till dusk at the Mount Pleasant Pier. A monster trout, dudes. And I'll try to walk him to my net. Uh, a net. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I just don't see how. Come on, come on, big boy. Uh. I just don't see how. My net's like way down there. Ugh. I'm trying. Ugh. I'm gonna get him around this pole. All right, I'm taking him down. Ugh. Almost there. Trying to get to my neck. This big old gator trout. Who's there? All right, I'm gonna try to net him.
There it is. Uh, Y'all can get a better view. Probably see that a lot better, huh? All right. And that is why I like to fish until dusk off of the Mount Pleasant Pier. Pull my slim swims off my jig head. Probably gonna have to glue it, but I want to see how many I can get. There we go. That one's even nicer. Another trout come up and swipe at him. Check him out. Let's get him up here. Being 
risky as they get bigger. I'm only using six pound test monofilament. You like that clear line, that water's really clear this time of year. So I do recommend if you're using braid, go with a real nice long fluorocarbon leader. Because uh, they can be line shy when they want to be. So there are so many different lures that you can use for spotted sea trout. It would take me a whole entire show just to explain what they are and how to use them. But that is some of the information I have available in my advanced artificial classes. Again, with Fishing with Jig and Jerry LLC. Feel free to contact me or email me if you're interested in any of those classes. No, bigger. It's a little bigger. Let me see if I can reel them up. Ready? Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. It's dinner time. Put that right there in the nose, guys. Right there in the nose. Got both fangs on him. Little vampire. Vampire. Alright, see you later, buddy. Send you bigger brother. <laughs> uh, if I didn't already have trout at home, mm -mm -mm. but I do. I never try to keep more than I can eat. Well, all right. I hope you all enjoyed the show. To all my fans out there, thanks for watching. For those of you watching for the first time, I hope you enjoyed the show. Don't forget to look down. There is a subscribe button. It only lets you know when I have more shows available. And like I always say, good luck out there and have fun fishing. Take care.